اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و حل لغتت من لسانی افقاو قولی السلام علیکم ایوری ون گوڈ مارننگ صبح خیر اوکی جی ہیر وی گو ٹوی ڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن ہو ٹو یوز ویجویل بیسکس ٹو تھوزن ٹین یوزنگ دس سوف ویرز وی ویل کریئیٹ یو کین کریئیٹ ویب سائٹس ویب پیجز ڈیسٹاپ اپلیکیشن now here we are going to create our first new project okay how to launch this after installing this software Microsoft Visual Basics 2010 click on start on the top left corner click on start uh, bottom left corner sorry so here you will type when you type VSIU it will appear your program at, at the top of your it will appear here at the top of your programs then click on it when you click on it it will be loaded and you will find this interface right now I have over here so I am going to click on my first project new project I can click here for new project and then we will create windows form application here is a window form application you can see from here click on it now type here the name of this application windows form application um, I want to create a calculator okay uh, I will write here calculator using windows form application I, I want to create a calculator so click on ok did all those things okay gee. now here is our main interface here is your empty form you can uh, stretch your form by clicking here can you see these small uh, squares dots circles uh, you can click here bring your mouse here it will turn into these two arrow heads click hold your left mouse button and then drag like that and now I want to increase its height like that now for clear okay gee. on that this is your uh, canvas where you will work this is your form okay uh, on the left side we have all the commands control it's written here command control using these command controls uh, we will create labels we will uh, drag and drop labels we can drag and drop um, text boxes and all that uh, let's see how we can do all this it's very interesting okay uh, first of all I want to change the name I want to change the name of this form okay one more thing before going to uh, on to the property section on the right side you will see over here this is a property section and on the left side I have these are uh, toolbox here uh, let me cross this in some cases you are not able to find this for example when you will log in uh, you will load at this software you will see that there is no toolbar here where to find that toolbar you okay fine click on file where is toolbar no not here not here toolbar okay um, if you want to find your toolbar it's over here click here uh, or you can use this uh, shortcut key alt control control alt x you will find this on the left side then click on this auto hide button click on it and it will appear here done on the left side okay let's see now I want to first of all I want to change the title of this form I want to write over here calculator okay I want to write a calculator so first thing is click on this form then go in the property section on your left side right side sorry uh, then uh, find the text text field in text field now I'm going to write here okay let's let's say I want to write my name it will appear as a title when I will write uh, Faisal Jalil and I will click here in the form it will appear here thank you got it okay gee. now next thing is very important name box I'm not going to use name box over here um, when I will drag and drop some uh, text boxes labels and buttons then we will actually um, write a code behind those buttons so we will use name over there okay let's see first of all I want to drag and drop label here label 1 here's label 2 done okay gee uh, now waste uh, text box here's text box 
text box one drag and drop it's very easy drag and drop text box one text box two okay now I want another label I want to add two numbers and display the result I want to show the result over here in this label okay gee now I need one button using one button when I will click on it it will process my information let's see okay first of all let me write uh, change the name uh, over here of these labels sorry when you click here this label then in the property channel you can see it's hit written here text label one in label one you can write here let's say uh, number one I will take number one over here and I will change the name this of this label is let me give a name lib uh, number two and now I want to change the text of this button click on it and then go in the property channel and then quickly change this as a uh, I can say is process click enter execute you can write anything what I'm going to write here let's say click here it will appear over here I can drag I can make it bigger you can even stretch this text box by clicking here okay now let's see no I want to display my result where let me give a not label 3 I want to write here result my result will display over here in this label till here hopefully there's no confusion till here okay if I want to give a title here like my calculator so I will again use label a drag and drop over here and then change its uh, text label as a calculator as a calculator done here our title be again okay now what else now after that the most important thing is after changing the text now we are moving towards the their names names name of this text box is by default text box one I will write here uh, okay fine text box one this one is text box two and then what is over here btn okay uh, btn button one I can write over here let me give a name here btn click btn click it's a btn click now here I will write here uh, txt short txt number one because I want to pick value from number one from this text box here I want to take the another I want to pick another variable its value from using the name I will pick values from the text boxes so I will give a name txt number two okay after doing this now we are ready now now double click here what is the result let me write its let me change its name result click here go back I don't want to change this text I want to change its name because I want to show my result using this label so I will display my result using this label LBL LBL stand for label it's a short form I can use like that LBL result okay done okay now double click here you will enter in the code section where you will actually write the code okay using this arrow you will run and execute the execute your form so start debugging click on it display button you will find this form okay this one ready okay now when I will enter something over if I was able to I will write here three click nothing happened because I haven't used processing 
ठीक है इट्स नॉट दैट मच इजी ओके लेट्स गो बैक एंड राइट इट्स कोर लेट मी क्लिक ऑन स्टॉप स्टॉप और जस्ट क्रॉस दैट बटन यू विल कम बैक टू योर ओरिजिनल फॉर्म वेर यू कैन मेक चेंजेस ओके डबल क्लिक है ओके नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू राइट माई कोड ओवर हेयर बटन वन क्लिक ओके बटन वन क्लिक After bu clicking button one, I want to declare my variables over here. Okay, how to do that? Okay, first of all, I will create a public variable. If I want to create local variable, um, I will explain in my next way too what is the difference between public variable and the private variable. So uh, let me declare here some private variables. Dim is a keyword. Using dim keyword, you can create your uh, variables. Okay, uh, Vim. Uh, Dim. I will give a name, number one, as integer. Okay, now Dim. Number two, as integer. I have declared my two variables. Now I want to declare my third variable in which I will store the result. uh okay uh yes dim result as integer enter okay ji now here um i want to take values from the text boxes so first of all i will write here uh let me write here when i will write num it will appear at the bottom double click here num1 is equal to now i want to pick my value from this text box from this text box this one so what i will write over here i will use the name name is text uh, text number 1 so i will write over here text number 1 text number 1 so where is text number 1 so i will write here txt text number 1 dot text using dot text i will pick value from my text box done now in number 2 variable is equal to txt 2 dot text i am taking my second value from the second text box now i want to add these two uh, values and store in the result so what i can do i will write here result is a variable that i have declared over here now i am using this is equal to now i am going to write number 1 because my text number uh, text box 1 uh, value is stored in this variable in this location so i will select it this now i am going to use operator plus sign because i want to add two uh, numbers so here i will write num 2 number 2 number 2 is over here okay now result added successfully so let's run this code click on play button and run this code we will get let's see i want to add 5 plus 6 click here okay nothing is happening over here i am not able to get my result over here so what's the reason because i have only store result in this uh, in this variable but i haven't displayed using that label so uh, let me display my result now i will write here lbl result now i'm accessing that label dot text now i will write here is equal to is equal to what i want to assign the result whatever i have stored in this variable it will go here in the result now done all is ready now click on this play button start debugging and now i'm going to enter my value let's suppose 5 15 plus 15 plus 7 it's it should be 22 that click here excellent now i want to again i want to write here 15 and 9 15 9 kitna hota hai 24 yes no i want to write 100 and uh, 45 145 thank you very much for watching please using these uh, basic skill you can 
develop you can create your calculator in the next video i will show you a complete calculator how to design a complete calculator thank you very much if you like my video please like and subscribe my channel stay tuned allah face take care